Hi, this is PDF Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is tutorial number 108. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to start setting up a finite state machine for our mob AI. And admittedly we don't have our mob actually doing too much, you know, it, it moves and it basically waits there for us to collide with its trigger. But uh, I want to get the finite state machine in now rather than later when we have a bunch of things that it does do. So I'm going to open up Unity and mono develop and I'm just going to head right into my AI class so I'm just going to start at the beginning of start well I guess we'll get our enumeration done first and I always like to put those right at the very top so I'll make a private enum and I'll call it state and we'll just start setting it up so idle init setup and I'm actually just going to put the actions down now that I know of uh, so we're going to have one where where they're actually in combat so we'll call that attack I'm going to have another one where they flee and let's have one more before that where they're searching for the player and I'll just call it search. So that should be good enough for now to start with. So I'll come down at the very bottom of all of our variables and of course we're going to want to make our own version of state so private state and I'm just going to call it underscore state. Now if you want you can leave it public so you can watch it in the inspector and we'll come down do the while true loop actually I don't want to put it in start I'm actually going to create my own method here and it'll be private doesn't return anything and I'm just going to call it FSM for the finite state machine now the reason why I'm doing it down here is I want to be able to um, have a variable that we could switch on and off so instead of saying while true we could just say while you know while some variable is true uh, run through the FSM and once that state is well once that boolean value has switched to false don't do it anymore so he'll just basically you know stand there and not take up any processor so let's actually make a, a private bool and I'm just going to call it alive and I'm going to start it off equaling false and I'm just going to stick it up here for now the false part so down here instead of saying while well, true I'll say while well, alive this is where we'll do a finite state and of course we're not going to return a void we got to return an I numerator and we'll also want to yield return something and I'm just going to do null and then we'll set up our switch block and we're going to switch on state uh, this should all be old school by now I think we've done it a few times and set up our cases State dot init and it helps to put the colon in the right spot. Then we'll just break out for now. And I'll set up my next case, which is state dot setup. Oops, wrong one. And I'm also going to do case state. Now what else do we have here? We don't have idle. We have init searching. So we'll do that one. OK. 
Paste state dot. So we don't have attack and flee. Okay, well, I'll do attack next. And I'm just going to come down above update here and we're going to create the methods for this. So private void init. Private void. Set up. Just cannot type today. That's fine. Private void search. Private void attack. And then private void flee. Okay, we got them all done. Now I like to change my state in the bottom or the very last line of these functions. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So underscore state is equal to state dot uh, setup. And if the setup was fine, then we're going to go state is equal to state dot search and if the search goes okay then we'll want to attack then the attack can basically have two outcomes. One, we can either run away and flee, or the mob dies. Well, we'll probably add more later on, such as maybe retreating to the nearest node that actually has mobs so it can get friends, but uh, for now, I'm just gonna set it to flee. Yeah, I forgot a semicolon up here. And then after flee, I'm going to set it to search. Mostly just so I can have the loop going because we're, we're missing a few options here. But basically, you're going to probably want one uh, probably right after search where well, probably right before well no after search because that's where it finds its target and it decides what exactly it's going to want to do uh, but we'll get into that when we start flushing out the rest of the functions here so let's just go put the function names in up here And then the last one is flee. And it looks like we're just coming up on 10 minutes here. So I'm going to save the dissecting of the code that we already have uh, to the next tutorial. And uh, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.